Hi there, my most amazing artist, Ms. Pelavon here to show you how to add some lines and patterns to your Mexican serape to make it more interesting and how to add some fringe to the top and the bottom. So on this paper here, there are some examples of different lines and patterns and shapes that you can repeat. Um, I've already started adding some to mine. I'm just going to show you the last three stripes and then I'll show you how to do the, um, the fringe. So when you're doing this, you just want to make your artwork more interesting, but you want to make sure that you take your time. Don't go quickly because then you might make a sloppy mess. We don't want to make sloppy artwork. We want it to look very nice and neat. So when I'm working, I want to make sure that I am taking my time, thinking of what colors I'm using, thinking of what shapes I'm doing, remembering that I'm making a pattern, things like that because I don't want to make a mistake when I'm working. And here I'm going to do the opposite ones. Now I'm working very quickly because I want to have time to show you how to do your fringe, but remember when you're working you want to take your time so that you do your best work. And then down here let's do something really really quick. Oh I like these ones. So I'm just looking at the example sheet and drawing some quick patterns that I see. Some of these shapes I can repeat and make patterns. So I'm doing the same shape in each one, just repeating it. All right, now I'm all done with my oil pastels and my pattern paper, so I'm going to set that aside. And now I'm going to use a hole puncher, and I'm going to need some yarn. The yarn's already cut for you. You're going to need 12 on each side. So we're going to hole punch on the short side. So right here is the short side, and then the other short side is up here. So when I'm using my hole puncher, I stick the paper in here underneath that little tooth, I call it, like it's biting, and I'm going to make 12 holes. So I'm gonna need to make sure I do my spaces correctly. So I gotta count. Making sure that I'm up into the paper. One, two, three. Notice I'm leaving some space. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now if I went across and I run out of space and I don't have any room for any more, it's okay. I can just do nine, but I want to make sure that there's space between each of them. I don't want to have 12 on this side and then none on this side, but the most you can have on one side is 12. And then you're going to take your yarn and you're going to put it into the loops. Now I'm going to try and zoom in and see if that works so that you can see how I do the loops. Hopefully you can see that. Now I have my yarn here. It comes in a short string. I'm going to fold it in half so it makes a loop. See the loop there? I'm going to pinch the loop like that and I'm going to put the loop from behind through my hole and then put the little tails through the loop. So here's my tails, there's my loop. I'm going to open up the loop and put the tails through the loop and gently, gently pull. I don't want to rip my paper. So now I have fringe. And that's how the Mexican serapes got the fringe on them. Let me show you one more time. Fold in half, get my loop, push the loop through the back of the paper, open up the loop, and then put the two tails through the loop and gently pull. So then now you have fringe on your blanket. So you're going to do that the whole way across and I will show you the example of the finished serape when this video is all done. Please make sure you put your paper in the finish box when you're all done with your patterns and your fringe and your Mexican serape is complete.